Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I repainted this pink and teal Barbie boat to look more modern and realistic. I bought this Barbie boat off of Amazon for $20 and I thought that it would be super fun to repaint. This set also includes some really cool accessories up here in the right hand corner. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open this up. I have to say, the boat was actually really easy to get out of the packaging, and it feels really sturdy and very well made. Overall, I think it was definitely worth $20. Also, I was expecting the life jacket to be hard plastic, but it's actually very squishy and flexible. And we got a puppy. I don't need one, but okay. This set also includes two little drinks here that I'm probably gonna repaint to look a little more realistic. This boat can fit two dolls inside, plus probably a few more at the end of this little white thing that opens up back here. This boat is very cute, and I'm also pretty sure that it floats. Of course, I'm not the biggest fan of the color of the boat, so I am going to be repainting it today. Usually, the first step when it comes to repaints is taking the item apart, but in this case, I could not get the boat to come apart. I even let it soak in some hot water for about 20 minutes, and I'm just having no luck taking it apart. I've tried just about everything from an X-Acto knife to a pair of pliers, so it's time to try a new approach. You can never go wrong with good old fashioned duct tape. Basically, I'll just be covering the parts that I don't want spray painted with duct tape. Ah! I'm going to be repainting the pink part of the boat, so I'm just gonna be covering up the rest of it with duct tape. This of course wasn't my original plan, but I still think it's going to work. Now I'm going to take my boat outside and repaint it with some white spray paint. While my boat is drying, I'm going to make a dock for my dolls out of popsicle sticks. I'm going to line enough of the sticks up to make a dock that's about 15 and a half inches long. I'm also going to cut off the ends of some thicker popsicle sticks to make the sides of my docks with. I'm going to need a total of six of these to get the right length. Next, I'm going to glue three of these together, then place a smaller popsicle stick in between the seams. And as you can see, this is going to make the base of our dock. I'm gonna place these upright and fill in the middle with some popsicle sticks to keep my dock together. Now I'm just gonna fill the entire middle in with popsicles all the way down. And here is our dock after we have completed it. It is a little bit lopsided due to my measurements not being the most accurate, but I think it looks pretty good. Now that our boat is done drying, I'm gonna take off the tape to see what it looks like. And here is the boat after the repaint. I think it looks so much better than before. I'm super happy with it. However, there are a few little mistakes. We did get some paint on the yellow visor here. I'm gonna be using some rubbing alcohol and Q-tips to try and remove this. And 
and that worked like a charm. I was able to remove all of the paint from the visor and even some that got on the seat. For the next step, I'm going to be hand painting the control panel and steering wheel to look a lot more realistic. First, I'm going to use some shiny silver paint just to do a little light coat all over the control panel and steering wheel. Then I'm going to use a medium gray paint to get rid of the pink tint of the steering wheel. Once everything is dried, I'm going to paint some of the buttons different colors. I did a lot of that off camera, but here is what the control panel looks like. I think this looks so much better than before, and I'm super happy with how it turned out. Now we can add our dock to the scene so our dolls can get to the boat. And now we are done with the repaint. This definitely didn't go as I had planned, but I still think that the boat turned out really good. I love the color scheme of it, and I can't wait to use this in some of my future videos. And stay tuned because I'm actually considering buying another one of these boats and doing a different repaint of it. Thank you all so so much for watching me today as I repainted this boat for my Barbies. If you enjoyed, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, plus also turn on that notification bell. We post new videos every Saturday, so make sure you stay tuned. Also, you will be seeing more of this doll boat in my upcoming series, Barbie Beach Blast, coming this summer. Once again, thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video.